But I, this is where I get confused. Like, like who's right and who's wrong? Ooh, it's even hard just to try to stand next to this fire. Imagine being thrown in it. And Paul Logan, that's the answer to your first question. But I, this is where I get confused. Like, like who's right and who's wrong? Are, are, are Muslims wrong because they're Muslim? Are Christians wrong because they're Christian? And what are the consequences of being right and wrong? What is it? What's the consequence if we get it wrong? If we, pa if we fail the test, this test of life, you'd respect me less if I didn't tell you the truth. The truth is that Abraham, Moses, Noah, all these messengers, Muhammad just being the last of messengers in a chain of messengers who came with the same message to worship the one <laughs> and only creator of the heavens and the earth. There's not multiple gods. Oh, they're God. Yes. Okay. You know, uh, in Islam, Allah is, is the God. In mm. Judaism, Jesus is the God. And uh, Jesus is not God. He never called people to worship him as a God, as a literal son of God. He called people to worship the one God, alone, without associates. And he also warned people of the hellfire. And he gave the glad tidings of paradise, eternal life in the next paradise. And so did all the other messengers. They came with that same message, not contradictory messages, one coming and saying, worship me. The other one coming, worship the sun. The other one won't come saying, worship the moon. The other one saying, worship money. No, that's where you're confused. Because I'm, I'm confused. But the messengers that the creator sent, he, they came to bring you out of the confusion. And Prophet Muhammad is just the last and final messenger sent to mankind. So the consequence, again, to answer your question. And what are the consequences of being right and wrong? Is the hellfire. And I hope that you respect that person more who's giving you the truth straightforward. Because that's out, that's out of true love. Now the next part to answer your question, Paul Logan, is how do we get out of the confusion? Why well, leave people with a little bit of homework? Very simple. First, I'm going to give you an analogy. And tell me if you agree with this. And then if you agree with this, we can build off that. Now I'm going to leave you with something to think about. Imagine a house with four doors. And in one door, you were brought in and there was statues, idols, icons, and then the person says, here, you can take this as your religion, you can worship these sticks, stones, and bones, and icons, and idols, and then he took you to door number two. And then there was human beings, angels, saints, living things, cows, animals, and then the person said, your second option, you can worship these things, and from those things, religions are formed. And then the person took you to door number three. Are you with me? Stay with me, we're almost done. Paul Logan. Door number three, the person took you in there, the roof was missing, and you looked up and there were stars, and there was the moon, and there was the clouds, and all these other things up there. And the person said, you can go ahead and make a religion out of that. Would you want to worship that? And the person said, we got one more door to take you through. So then they took you to door number four. And there, the person explained to you the attributes of the creator of the heavens and the earth. There was no sticks, stones, idols, icons, human beings. There was no stars, no planets. Nothing created but the attributes of the Creator explained to you in a beautiful verse from the verbatim Word of God Almighty, the Quran. And went something like this say he is God, the one and only, the absolute, the eternal, the truly self-sufficient. He begets not, nor is he begotten, meaning he's not born from anyone, nor does he have children, a family, a DNA, no. And he's uniquely one. There's nothing comparable to him. Now you go ahead, and if you're sincere from that, we have an innate nature inside, built inside all of us, that drive that want, that belief in the creator of the heavens and the earth. I do believe in a creator. So you decide which door would you pick and select if you pick number four some sort of unimaginable thing that made us and this universe and everything around us your nature hasn't been totally corrupted and you said yes number four then i invite you to investigate islam and islam simply means to submit your will you were a christian and you read the lord's prayer and that lord's prayer goes a little something like what oh our father oh god in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Thy will be done equals Islam. That's what Islam is. To submit your will to the will of the one and only God. God Almighty in Arabic, we say Allah. That's it. So there's not his God, that God, 
their God. There's only one God. So if this makes sense, go ahead. I invite you to look into Islam, Paul Logan. And remember, that's the consequence, the hellfire, that Jesus and all the messengers warn people out of their love, trying to save them from them, give them salvation from the hellfire. And they invited them to the house of peace, the house of Islam. They all came with the same message to submit your will to the creator of the heavens and earth, not the creation, to do good deeds, to be morally upright. You're going to make mistakes, but you turn to the all loving, the most forgiving. Now I just gave you something to think about. Tune into the Dean Show, Paul Logan. Check out some of the shows that we've had. And the homework that I leave you with is very simple. Ask your creator, the creator who created you. Humble yourself like Jesus did, and he fell on his face, and he prayed. Who did he pray to himself? No, he prayed to the one God, and asked for guidance. Say, the one who created me, don't put no intermediary in the middle, no monkey in the middle, nobody in the middle between you and your creator, your maker, and ask the all-loving, the most merciful, the most kind, kind, the one who wants to guide you, to guide you. Say, guide me, guide me, guide me. I leave you with that, Paul, Logan, do that little thing. It's a huge thing and great things will happen. And take a little time to investigate, investigate Islam, read the Quran. And we're here to help. If you have any questions, contact us at The Dean Show. Watch The Dean Show. Thank you. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفؤا أحد